Hey, what's going on guys? It's Lucy Goosey or Kyle and welcome back to another episode of HeroCraft Reborn here on the channel. We're back with episode 2 sitting in our little hobbit home I guess you could call it in our little house that we made in the last episode. So I did a little bit of things before or after I ended the episode I mean. Um, is that a skeleton outside? Kind of sounded like it. I don't know. Um, anyways, yeah, I did a little bit of things as you guys can see. Outside of the house, I kind of started up some farms. I put some fences down just to make it look a little bit better. Did a little bit of terraforming around the house. Cut down some more wood. Um, I also made a little area for our bed because we were trying to find a place for that last episode. I made a tiny little basement area down here uh, and then added some chests where everything is now slightly organized. As you guys can see, I also went mining for a little bit uh, between episodes. So a lot of work has been done in between episodes and Basically, in today's episode, I just want to uh, kind of finish off this little starter home, get some more materials, uh, and just really get set up all together, ready for, um, you know, building a main base, or ready to, uh, you know, really get into the thick of things with this game. So, um, I think I want to work on, first, just cutting down some trees, so I think what I'm going to do is just place down some 4x4 four four spruce saplings and break down the big trees, because uh, I think that's probably the best course of action to go by so uh yeah i'll probably do that and then after that i think i'm going to terraform around here a little bit add some bushes in and everything should be good maybe we'll build like a little bit of a shed in the back so that would be for storage rather than this house um that was one thing i was considering but gotta find my saplings there they are and i should have some wood in this or not wood uh some bone meal in this chest because i can turn this all in the bone meal so uh yeah hopefully you guys are excited for this episode of Hero Craft Reborn, I know the first one was a little bit boring, and I'm gonna try to skip around in this video and make everything a little bit more interesting. So I'll see you guys after I'm finished cutting down these trees. Alrighty, guys. So I cut down some trees. The leaves are still despawning. I got a little bit of leaves as well with some shears. I got two stacks and a little bit more. Um, so that's really nice. Uh, there might be a little bit more like falling down because they got stuck on the leaves up there. So I am collecting just a couple more saplings just in the future. So. I can do that once more uh, but yeah we got some nice amount of wood uh, I'm gonna put it all the way in our chest up here so yeah we got a lot of good materials for building uh, in the future so yeah three stacks of wood is really nice and I'll just put the remainder uh, just like that I'll organize everything later uh, and we've got these bushes which I'm actually gonna take a stack with us I also fought off a couple of mobs so I got a gold helmet from a little baby zombie that was running around so that's kind of cool um and then yeah i'll put that away in there and that in there okay so basically i want to put some leaves around our house to give it uh you know that feeling that it really is a house um so i think that will be good over there and a little bit right here as well and then along the back side i want to do it as well so yeah see like that there's some leaves still falling so uh, I do want to just put some bushes around here. I think I'm also going to do a little bit of terraforming um, on this area just so that we have a little bit more uh, room to move around around our house uh, so that we don't have to like jump over ledges and stuff. So um, yeah, we don't really have much of a backyard. So I think I'm going to clear out this entire area uh, to give us like three or four blocks here in the backyard. Um, and then I'll terraform everything after that. We're probably going to need to make another shovel as well but um yeah anyways how are you guys all doing today um i know it's been a while since i played minecraft and i haven't actually posted the first or no i did post the first episode of hero craft reborn um by now but um basically it's been a while since i've played this game and i was wondering what you guys have all been doing recently because i still haven't gotten into contact with a lot of you guys who used to watch me i know um a couple of you guys have seen me on xbox one playing fortnite and stuff but um you know, I've still been kind of out of contact with a lot of you, so how have you guys all been doing? Have you uh, been sticking with Minecraft playing the game, and, and if so, what have you been building? So, uh, I know a lot of people uh, were building, like, theme park worlds and stuff like that when I left. There's two people that were subscribed to me that were building that, and uh, I remember one guy made, like, a mini game server. Uh, so, if you guys are still working on that, or you have a finished product, let me know uh, so I can check out your world and stuff. Or if you uh, want to have me make a video on it, that would be kind of cool as well. Uh, but yeah, there should be a couple more videos coming out soon. I do have a parkour map that I think I'm going to play through. And uh, Minigame Madness should be coming up soon. So uh, yeah, really, I got in the mood today to record Minecraft. So I think I'm going to be doing a lot today. Um, maybe not the parkour today because I still need to download it. 
I just I found it online and now I just need to download it which I now I have to remember how to download again uh, I know I have horizon still on my computer so I should be fine with that but it does take a little bit of time to learn how to download so um, I will be doing that soon and I think I'm gonna start up another world that's gonna be a let's build a mini golf world uh, because I do have a lot of fun building mini golf courses in Minecraft so I think I'm gonna be doing that soon if you guys are excited for that there are some leaves up or from what up here that I didn't end up actually cutting down all the way um, this is just a house that was or a tree that was just in the way of everything so um, yeah this looks pretty well terraformed for our backyard maybe a little bit more down here because it kind of looks awkward with this two block thing uh, but yeah I think I'm gonna be building a mini game or not a mini game a mini golf world uh, which would be kind of cool so like basically you throw items on on ice and they slide across I think it's really cool uh, I built one in the past and I think it'd be nice to do like an 18 episode series where I build a hole in each episode and then maybe at the end I play uh, with viewers or play with uh, some friends of mine so that would be kind of cool if you guys would be interested in that um, other than that really plans for the future of the channel I don't have too many I know that I used to do a lot of hunger games and like I said once I get Minecraft for the Xbox one someone was telling me that I should get bedrock version instead of Minecraft in general because bedrock version is what allows you to play on realms and on servers and stuff so I will definitely look into that um, I should be getting it pretty soon guys so uh, I also uh, want to play some other games on the channel like you guys have been seeing I've been playing Pokemon and uh, I think there's some other games that I'd like to start posting so if you guys have any, any suggestions then that'd be really cool but uh, if you guys didn't notice there has been a lot of changes to like channel art recently uh, I've tried to like shift more away from just Minecraft channel art to just general gaming um, so uh, right now I think my channel art is just my Pokemon logo with my Minecraft character and a couple of other things uh, and it's just a really clean logo nothing like too fancy about it uh, but I do like it I made that one uh, a couple a couple months ago I think so uh, it does look good to me and I hope you guys like it as well but I gotta break some of these leaves because they won't despawn touching this tree next to it so uh, anyways yeah that's a little bit of the terraforming I wanted to do around here gives us a little bit more of a homey feeling because like it's close to us and uh, I'm just gonna build up the leaves because I don't really mind losing a couple of these plus I still have my shears on me so I can I can break these now with some shears as well if I want to get some extra leaves um, but other than that I don't really know what else to say about Minecraft on the channel uh, except that I'm gonna be going pretty strong with the content coming up uh, so it should be good uh, maybe three four videos a week of Minecraft uh, if I can really put some time and effort into it uh, I also want to build a dock so that's gonna be my next plan is to build a dock for the starter home and uh, it should look awesome. Look at all this dirt we have now. Man, that's going to be so great. I would never use dirt. Uh, except if I'm like terraforming or... Eh, there's sometimes I, I use dirt to like cover up holes. So I'll, I'll keep it for now. But I remember, I think it was it's HeroCraft Season 2 when we built all those farms, the farming area. Or no, that was HeroCraft Season 1. Um, where all of those holes were in the ground. Uh, I had to use a ton of dirt. And then when we made our gold farm, I had to use a ton of dirt so that we could terraform a mountain so it didn't look weird um so it is nice to hold on to dirt every once in a while also i can't wait until we get like fortune pickaxes and stuff the early game of minecraft is really boring for me i love late game though when i can start building and clearing out massive areas with like haste beacons and stuff so uh, i just got to get through this tough early game of minecraft and uh i like doing a lot of building at the beginning of the game so everything still looks nice uh, obviously it doesn't look as nice as some stuff will later on once I have all the materials to make stuff look a lot nicer but um, it should look good I'm gonna use all this wood that we cut down earlier uh, well not all of it but some of it to make this dock so I'm gonna use some slabs because I feel like slabs probably works better let's, uh, let's use that much we're still gonna have some extra but that's okay so 52 slabs seems pretty good to me I'm gonna also actually let's do that right now I also have to make some fences so uh, I don't know how much sticks I really need. I'll make 60 sticks. Uh, that's actually going to be a lot of sticks because I don't have that much stuff for it. So I can make 16, which is going to be 48 fences. Okay, that should be good enough for a dock. So I just want to make a little dock right here. We can make it extend. Hmm. How do I want to do this? I want to make it go up one, but let's do something like this first. Kind of like a bridge 
uh, and then we'll make it go up one right here. And then we'll extend it a little bit more. Uh, but yeah, uh, I'm going to start building this dock afterwards. I think we're going to start exploring the world a little bit, see if we can find anything cool. And I hope you guys are interested in that. But I'll skip ahead until I think this dock looks really good. Uh, and we'll work on it a little bit more. All right. So I also need to make a boat. And I believe I need to make a shovel to make a boat. Uh, so it's like a paddle. Uh, yeah, that's probably right. Uh, yep, there we go. Spruce boat. So I think I'll just use one for now. Uh, the dock obviously doesn't look great. I want to put um, regular wood in there to make it look a little bit nicer but um here we go let's grab our spruce wood and we'll put it in the dock i also put some fences at the bottom to make it look like it actually has some support so you guys can see those fences right here and on those fence blocks i actually want to build up with wood rather than slabs so i can do one wood right there and another one and then i can do it on this one as well so that should be good to go and then i'm gonna just put a boat here i don't know if i can actually make the boat stay uh if there's a way i can do that maybe if i put some fences up around it uh that will make the boat stay uh oh i'm gonna keep falling uh, i misplaced that one fence can i jump up here nope i can jump up onto the fence though so, and then jump up uh yeah i misplaced the fence there I'm not sure if I can get these boats to stay. Nah, it doesn't look like I can even place it down right now. So let me just figure this one out right here because I actually haven't used the new boats too uh, like in depth. So I'm gonna try to figure out how I wanna place this down. All right, so I just decided to place the boats down regular. Nothing too fancy about that. I think maybe I can also put wood right here. Maybe that will look a little bit nicer. Oop, wrong spot. Man, wood is really difficult when you're when you're trying to build with it, but that's okay. Uh, I think that's good right there, and the same thing on this side. Good, cool. So that is gonna be our dock. Not the coolest thing in the world. I'll probably put some uh, torches up on this just so it's a little bit lighter, uh, so you can see. And yeah, that should be everything for the dock. So the next thing I want to do is start exploring. So I'll see you guys as I'm traveling. Alrighty, so I just made a map and I am ready to explore. Our dock is all set to go and I think I'm gonna take a boat here and we're gonna head away. So I actually don't know how far this river goes. And I also don't know how to use these new boats too well. So uh, this could be a bit of a challenge. I know they're not really new anymore. Uh, yeah, it doesn't really go anywhere out that way. Maybe the river will go somewhere out this way. Uh, but yeah, I'll probably end up crashing my boat a couple times because it is pretty difficult for me to control this thing right now. But anyways, I'll see you guys if I find anything cool. So I did find a swamp over in this area. It looks pretty cool, but I also see like, I don't know if that's Podzol, that orange stuff, but it could be like a little mesa, which would be kind of cool. Uh, but I am going to go over into the swamp because uh, we can get those cool flowers, um, the blue ones. So I really like these flowers. Uh, so I'm gonna grab a few. I probably shouldn't be breaking all these lily pads, but I forgot that the boats are now like indestructible. They can't really crash too well. Um, but yeah, I am kind of struggling to move around with the boats. I'm not very good at it. Uh, so maybe maybe someday I'll get better, but I don't know. Uh, I knew that like the mechanics changed a lot. I can grab these lily pads, right? Did it give it to me? Yeah, so I can grab a few lily pads as well if I want to grab those. Uh, I do like lily pads. I think they can look really cool with certain builds, and especially since we have our lake outside of our house, uh, that would be really nice. Uh, I do want to end up decorating that lake a little bit. Maybe we can build like a fishing thing next to it, or maybe like a, a fake boat in the middle of the lake. That would be kind of cool. Um, but uh, I am also going to grab some sugar cane because I just used it all up to make this map because uh, I did need to make the paper for it. Uh, so not too many blue flowers, or I probably missed a few because I wasn't really looking for them too much, but. Uh, there is a lot of sugarcane around here, so I'm not going to take all of it in case I need to come back someday. Here's some blue flowers. Uh, but yeah, that's really nice. I like, I love these blue flowers. They look so cool. So if I end up making a flower farm, it's got to be in a swamp so that I can get some of these. Um, but yeah, blue orchids. I like, I like them a lot. So I think this is actually our spawn point right over there. So that's kind of cool that we were passing by our spawn point. That was, that was pretty close to where we spawned at. So... Um, anyways, yeah, I'm just gonna continue. I'm gonna actually try to go north on our map. I guess you can't see it while you're in a boat. So let me just get out for a second right here. Uh, oh, there we go. Uh, but yeah, there's the map. So I'm gonna actually head up north from here and see if I can find anything cool. So, uh, should be pretty interesting. 
uh, if I can find anything, but probably not anything too interesting. I'm hoping for a jungle biome. That's the one thing I'm hoping for. Maybe like an ice spice would be cool or a mesa biome, but other than that, I don't really have any good ideas. If I find any sheep, I need to get a bed because I forgot to bring one with me. So, uh, yeah, anyways, if I find anything cool, I'll let you guys know. I might die tonight uh, in this night in Minecraft, so uh, we'll have to see if that happens. <laughs> Uh, I gotta be careful though, because I don't have a bed to sleep through the night. So, I'll see you guys if anything cool happens. Alright, so I did find a couple interesting things here on this side of the map. There are some flowers, so this is a flower forest. And then, if you guys see over here, there's a tiny little village, um, which is kind of interesting, at the edge of the map. So, uh, once we expand this world, this is going to look really weird, uh, because the village is only going to be a little bit of the map. But, uh, I do like it. It's kind of like a fishing village, if you think about it, like, because it's in the water and everything, we, like, kind of consider it a fishing village. But, yeah, once the world expands, it's going to look really weird because it's going to, like, mesh with other things. So, uh, there are a nice, some nice villagers in here. Uh, butcher, farmer. Uh, the farmer could give me an emerald right now, which would be kind of cool. Uh, that's a, not a great farmer, though. 21 carrots is not a good deal. Uh, usually you want to see something like 15. Uh, I think 14 is the best, so... Um, hello. Why was there a skeleton in your house, bro? You need some torches. Uh, I am going to collect these uh, bookshelves, though. I think the last village we were in, there weren't any bookshelves, so it is nice to uh, have some bookshelves here. Uh, because now we're that, that closer to uh, getting ourselves some enchantments. Uh, we just, you know, need the diamonds that we couldn't find last episode, but anyways, yeah, I just thought this was something kind of cool, and I, w I would show you guys. Okay, well, I just got back, I took a little bit of a sleep, and this is our map. Nothing too interesting, actually. Um, all of this up there is snow, uh, in the middle, right? It's all snow, no desert, no jungle, no mushroom island, no ice spikes, nothing. Uh, we have... Uh, f a flower forest, a birch forest, a, uh, a giant uh, taiga, or whatever it's called, the one that we're in with all the podzol and all that stuff, and nothing else. Uh, we have like plains and stuff like that, no savannas, nothing, no uh, roof forest, so really boring world before we expand this thing, so uh, we don't really have too much to do. I also went back to the one village that we had in the snow biome and found two libraries, so we have uh, a ton of books, so we're actually just a few books away from being able to make like a full enchantment setup, which is kind of cool. Um, so that's awesome. But other than that, guys, I don't really have too much else to say for this episode. Uh, we did a little bit of building around the house, made it everything look a little bit nicer, but nothing too progressive in this one. Um, yeah, I think next episode I'm going to try to get some animal farms going so we can get some better food than just carrots. Uh, maybe like have something in the backyard where we have like some cows right here uh or something along those lines but um yeah that's gonna do it for this episode so hopefully you guys did all enjoy this episode of hero craft reborn and i'll see you guys in the next one i'm out for now peace